adjust where your wrap's laying on the floor. Oh, come get it! Yeah, That's a bite. Go, go, go! Salmon dance for that. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Badass Outdoors. Today we are plunking for salmon on the Columbia River. And I am using my kayak. I have a few rods set up and I'm taking a really heavy pyramid weight and kind of a stringer full of different presentations. And we're taking it out on the kayak. I'm marking fish on my hummingbird fish finder and finding this kind of drop off point, a good suitable area for salmon to be passing by. And I drop my weight down there and that's how we are trying to catch our our salmon today so hopefully hopefully we can get one of these salmon to go so we can enjoy some salmon dinner but we'll show you all of the setups all of the ways that we chose to do this don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and let's get started with some salmon fishing While I was out on the kayak trying to mark fish and looking at the structure, Matt was rigging up rods. These are pre-made plunking rigs that are already spaced out for lure attachments. You can also hand tie your own. We decided to do this fairly late in the week, so we purchased the hand tied ones. You want to space out your baited rigs every 10 feet or so and make sure your leader is long but not too long so it doesn't swing into another lure. We attach three lures or less for each rod and reel setup to comply with local regulations. And Matt made up some spin and glow setups with hooks rigged to hold bait. We were planning to use salmon eggs that I cured up, coonstripe prawns. We were also using killer fish plugs with herring wrapped on them. The weight we used was 14 ounces, which was great, but when the tide was going out, we felt like a few more ounces would have been helpful to keep our gear set in place. It moved around just a little bit. So, in figuring out where we want to drop our gear at, I went ahead and headed out on my Old Town Big Water PDL and fired up the old hummingbird and I am just kind of looking for any sort of structure, any sort of hills because I know this kind of like rolls off into a deeper kind of area and so I just dropped off into about around 30 foot of water give or take and I it, it already went by but I marked a fish going by out here at about 30 foot of water and so I'm just going to kind of keep cruising the area and I'm just going to go down and back down and back and really get a clear image of what this area looks like so that we can pick the best spot to set our gear. So paddle, 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 or pedal, 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 pedal. Yeah. One of the lures I'm using today is a killer fish. This is a KF 14 size plug. And what I'm doing is I'm taking some herring, I fillet it butterfly style, and I wrap it onto my plug. So this is going to set out and it's gonna do its little wiggling action. It's also gonna give off a lot of really amazing herring smells and hopefully attract a fish. We can only have one hook uh, for our setup for the type of fishing in the area that we're fishing. So we're leaving the tail hook on. Anytime you can only have one hook and you have to take off the belly hook or the tail hook, always take off the belly hook. And this is what we'll be fishing today. Finally, I set up some coon stripe shrimp on our spinning glow setups. You just kind of go in through the top of its like little head. I call it its little helmet. It's not helmet, but to me it's a little, his little head helmet. And then I pull the bait loop, do a little half hitch, and I come, I kind of like see where that's gonna land and just kind of like line it up with like which legs I'm gonna run my line into. And so it's like this third little leggy in, and then I just kind of cinch him down so that this doesn't like pull him apart while it's out there, but keeps him nice and snug. And that's all there is to it. So, the little seatbelt's on.
I'll just drop it here. that we're using today are actually my pen squall two rod and reel setup. I also have the pen fathom on the other one with a line counter on it so I know about how far these are all set out. But really, you know, we have this set out and we have our, our weights way up, probably like 150 yards off the shore here. And in the sand, we have a stake with a little rod holder and my rods are set up like this. So I'm watching the tips of all of these rods for action. Sometimes people set up bells on them so they can hear them go off and go and grab it. I'm just, we're all pretty attentive here, so we're all gonna be staring at the rods and waiting for something to happen. Um, but this is the kind of setup that I'm using for this particular type of fishing. This rod is a 10 foot rod and it is rated 17 to 30, 17 to 30 pounds for braid and 12 to 20 pound for mono. It's a little bit on the light side for what we're doing, but should work just fine. So I think we'll be able to reel in a fish in this area, no issue. If we get a huge one on, could be a little bit of an issue, <laughs> but we should be all set for what we're doing. It was bobbing good. Fish. A big fish? No. No, but I'm just I'm just glad there's something there. Maybe. I'm not really sure. It's hard to assess like this much line out to be honest. And 14 ounces of lead. Still there? Oh yeah. Look. Oh yeah. Ashley, you got a fish on. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it worked. This one's got a fish on too. John! John! Oh, come get it! Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a bite. Go, go, go! Oh! Whoop, 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 whoop. Or is, is it in the line? It might be in your line. Salmon? Salmon. We might be caught up together. Yeah, I feel you. But I have a fish too. I saw you have fish with the salt. <laughs> Oli, Oli, come on. Get out. It's just tangled. It's, it's gonna tangled. be a cluster. Yep. We just gonna be together. We gotta figure out a net situation too. <laughs> have a few fishing experiences that go way back. We did. He did the dual salmon reeler inner with a tangled line. Just uh, unclip that. Yeah, 
<laughs> you don't know how bad I needed this. <laughs> Nobody knows. We and you. you and look what it's on. Look at what it's on. It's on the herring that are wrapped. <laughs> Group effort. I am fired up. God, it's so nice when a good plan comes together. Holy cow. Matt's like, we're killing it now. I said when I dropped this one out, I saw fish, and I was like, we're going to catch a fish out here. Salmon dance for that. It's a nice fish. What's my saying when you're in my boat? What? Fish, they're all nice fish. They're all nice fish. This is a lake I've been on so many trips and skunked and finally got a fish fish. Fish. The bite wasn't intense. It was It was just like barely like... Was it like, wasn't... Yeah. I, I thought it was like some... <laughs> it had to have been like... A sucker fish of some sort. But it wasn't. No. It was a salmon. It was. Oh, and it feels good. Since my herring wrap on a plug works so well, I decided I should wrap up a few more. Essentially, you're taking a fillet of the fish, you know, sardine herring, whatever, and wrapping it to your plug. And so some people just take each side. What I like to do is butterfly this because I can get the belly meat entirely intact and select the slice that I want from that because generally the belly of any fish holds the most oils and things like that. And this is how my little piece of herring is gonna lay on my plug. So from here, I just kind of keep that nice and centered and then wrap it with some of the wrap that I have. Just kind of get a couple wraps to get started. And as you go, adjust where your wrap's laying on the plug. And then I'm going to pull this tight, pop it off, and then I just kind of like finish with a couple of wraps around this so that the string doesn't come loose. And you have a wrapped plug. Let's go catch another fish on it. We are all loaded up and ready to head home. Plunking off of the bank here has been a huge success. It was a nice day. We had a lot of fun and we were able to catch a fish. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you know when other videos come out and we will see you next week. We got one, we got one.